Good afternoon. I'm here with Diego and I'm going to be changing him today. I'm going to be putting this diaper on him. And I finally found a little time to change him today. Because he hasn't changed for a few days now. So I just said, let me go ahead and change him while I have the chance. Because he is all sticky. All of his powder is gone. And sometimes during the week when my kids are in school, it's kind of hard to get a chance to take care of the little reborn babies. Right, Diego? And the silicone baby. So I'm going to powder him a little bit. And I was um, thinking about my other reborn babies this week. If any of you that um, watch my other videos. I have two other reborn babies that are at my house waiting for me in New York, in the United States. And I, right now I'm in Jamaica still. And I was just thinking about them because I want to go get them so bad. And I don't know when I'm going to go. I'm thinking maybe in December. I'm hoping to go get them by then. Because I'm just trying to be patient. So far I'm just living off of pictures of them. That my daughters over there are so kind to dress them every now and then for me. And change their clothes and take pictures. If you notice, there's some videos that I put up that are just photos of Brayden and Sophia. Those are the two reborns that I have in New York waiting for mommy. But mommy hasn't went and got them yet. I haven't held them yet. All I've seen of them is pictures. So I'm hoping maybe by December I could go and get them. But that's just a little update on those two. And I also have all of these other things I've ordered for the babies that I need to go and get. So I'm hoping to go and get those things soon. And as far as an update on my budget plan of spending $30 a month on the babies. I started that this month in October because as I said I had really overspent last month on the babies so this month I tried a new plan of only spending $30 a month on them pick one baby and shop for so I ended up spending about $45 so I didn't quite make the $30 budget but 45 it wasn't too bad i believe it was about 45 dollars i spent it was better than what i've been spending put it that way way better <laughs> way less so i did uh try at least i tried to stick to that budget so i'm not too upset i just went over it by about 15 dollars so i'm going to try again next month and see how i do because now the holidays are coming. So I have to start shopping for the children for Christmas. So I got to watch how much I'm spending on my hobby. So I have to try to stick to that $30 in the next month in November coming up hopefully. Because now they're starting to write their Christmas list already. <laughs> so... I have to curve my spending on myself now and everything is going to go to Christmas shopping pretty much. But I did order a lot of stuff already for the baby so they don't really need anything else yet. Which is a good thing. It's just that I have to see when I can actually go and get it. 
so I'm hoping to get there by December that's the plan right now that's the plan but now I'm not even too keen on traveling on the airplane right now with all of this Ebola stuff going on I'm kind of even nervous to even travel so I don't know we'll see how that works out because I tell you I don't want to run into nothing on the airplane when I'm traveling I can't afford to be exposed to nothing and get quarantined <laughs> I don't want to be quarantined so I don't even know if I want to travel right now I'm telling you okay he's gonna put on this little pajama which says mommy's hero and he's worn this once so I'm going to let him wear it again and it has the little doggies on the feet and little fire trucks with a little doggy in it and it's a newborn size just one you by Carter's and it fit him so good before I'm going to let him wear this again I just love the way it fit him I think this brand fits him the best because he's so small and short so this like fits him perfectly because some of the, the pajamas are too long for him and they tend to hang off but this brand is the best one for his size it fits him exact he's about 16 inches to 18 inches depending on how you measure him with bent legs so with his legs bent like this he's about 16 inches long but then if you stretch his legs a little bit and measure him exact to his toe he's 18 inches so if you get certain clothes for him they just be too long even if it's newborn but this brand fits him perfect. Like if I get him faded glory or Carter's, the regular Carter's pajamas, they be too long. They end up drooping off of his feet. Every minute I have to pull it up because he's so short. His weight fills it out but not his length. Cause he's about almost seven pounds he's six pounds and nine ounces and he's pretty heavy and full he feel he's really filled out and his little bottom is filled out but his little length is so short okay so that's on and as you can see how it fits him perfectly to his toes from his head to his toes so now I have to comb this messy little hair of his because I haven't even brushed his little hair since last week. So mommy was a bad mommy this week. She didn't even spray his hair. Right, Diego? Okay. Let's brush it a little bit. Because I think he just loses hair every time I brush it. Just gently brush. And soon he's going to be bald. As you can see in the back. He lost most of his hair in the back. Like a real baby does. They usually lose their hair from laying on their back. And there is little Diego. And mommy put him in pajamas today. That way I don't have to change him again later. Right? See, so I'll be all cleaned up and I can just stay in my comfortable pajamas all day. And let me give him a little feeding from his Similac bottle. And this nipple is a little fat for his little mouth. But I love this bottle. So that's the update on the other babies. I might try to get my daughters to change them again. Or at least one of them. 
and I'll put up a picture outfit of the day for one of them if I can get them to change one of them for me today maybe the little girl Sophia so I can see a picture of her I have to live off of their pictures right now I can't wait till I get to hold them I just keep looking at their pictures that's about all I can do and the little boy has a head full of hair braiding um, and my daughter somehow can't get his hair to curl back he has such nice curly hair and he came with some spray it says finger spray which I've never heard of I'm assuming it's for his hair so my daughter sprayed it on his hair thinking it would curl it and instead it straightened his hair so I don't know what went wrong I wrote the seller a note and asked her what did she do to get his hair so curly because in his photos his hair was so pretty and curly when he first came my daughter sent me pictures his hair was nice and curly and then she sprayed sprayed the finger spray on there and it straightened his hair out and now she can't seem to get it to curl I told her to try warm water and conditioner spray and nothing is working so I have to see what's going on with his hair whenever I get there because I don't know what happened with his hair but it's just straight now he has so much hair and I loved his hair now I have to see can I get it curled back because she says she's tried everything and it will not curl his last pictures if you've seen them he had on a little um, infant hat because she couldn't get his hair to curl back so I told her to just put a hat on his head so I don't know and then the seller said to buy something called curly cube milkshake and it curls the hair so I'm gonna maybe try that whenever I get there and see if that will work okay let's burp Diego and I'm going to let him use his um, nook, the little white nook, because this little sleeper really doesn't match any passies. I don't have a red passy or a gray passy. So the white passy is the closest color. And there is Diego all dressed for the day and actually for the night. <laughs> Okay, so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.